What's Stomata with you? In this lab, you will learn about how plants exchange carbon dioxide and oxygen with the atmosphere and control their water loss. You will learn about the basic structure and function of stomata and how interactions between plants and environmental conditions influence stomata. Then, you will have a chance to make your own predictions and look at stomata under a microscope. But first, what are stomata? Stomata are microscopic pores in the epidermis or outer layer of cells of leaves where carbon dioxide enters and oxygen exits during photosynthesis. Water also exits the leaf through stomata due to evaporation in a process called transpiration. For each molecule of carbon dioxide that enters, many more molecules of water are lost. This is what stomata look like. The singular form of stomata is stoma, meaning mouth in Greek. Specialized cells called guard cells border each stoma and control the opening and closing of stomata by gaining and losing water, which changes their shape. When guard cells lose water and become flaccid, they shrink and the pore between them closes. When guard cells fill with water and become turgid, they bend and open the pore between them. Many factors act as stimuli that cause stomata to open or close. Light intensity. Light causes stomata to open. Biological clock or circadian rhythms. Most plants open and close their stomata on a 24-hour cycle. Temperature. Stomata will close if temperatures are very high to avoid excessive water loss. Carbon dioxide concentration. Low carbon dioxide concentrations inside the leaf will cause stomata to open. Water balance. A wilting or water stressed plant will close its stomata. Now that you know about stomata, here's what you need to get started with the lab. A beaker with water and a pipette. A microscope slide and cover slip. Forceps. ice water, and a zebrina plant. Take a leaf from the plant and put it into the ice water. This will make it easier to get an epidermal peel. Once the leaf is cold, take it out of the water and bend it until you hear it snap. Then take your forceps and carefully peel a small thin layer from the leaf surface. Place this epidermal sample onto your microscope slide Add a drop of water
and then drop the cover slip into place. Now you're ready for the microscope. The stomata will look something like this. Have fun!